You are watching Ballistic Coffee Boy. The Atari VCS might have its first first-person shooter game coming out soon, and two free codes for Superstar Shooter 16 by JD Video Game Productions. Next on Atari Newsline. Welcome back guys, VCB here, your host. So it came out recently uh, on Discord that uh, we might be having our first uh, first person shooter game on the Atari VCS. And this is none other than Madness Beverage. And this is by Blue Sunset Games and Console Labs SA. Uh, let's go over on Discord real quick and then we'll take a look at the trailer. Um, looks like this came out um, in 2021. Uh, on systems and uh, it says here travel through the galaxy and beat space demons to a bloody pulp in this intense first-person shooter use a variety of weapons and powerful drinks created for one purpose only to bring destruction and uh, it says down here a little bit further and I'll show you some screenshots of this it looks so cool it says uh, about this game madness beverage is a first-person shooter that takes place in space on dangerous planets remote castles, and hellish dungeons. Use all kinds of toxic drinks to gain new abilities and bring death to your enemies or acquaint yourself with a huge variety of weapons that will help you tear the demons to pieces. Love this, looks, looks so good, I love it. It says core features of the game. Tons of fun with crazy weapons such as futuristic shotguns, unicorn heads or javelins with ammunition that literally disintegrates the demons that stand in front of you. Six colorful and powerful toxic drinks that will enhance your abilities, grant some special skills, or even take you to a completely different dimension. They can also make you feel fuzzy, though. <laughs> Love it. And uh, it says down here, modern stylized 3D graphics, pure solo campaign mayhem, many unique locations, powerful monsters, and traps. Be wary of lava and narrow corridors. And of course, we have boss fights. And it says, uh, do you want to feel nostalgic? Check out the old school mode, which will take you on a journey through the pixelated version of the game. Get a taste of the good old days. It says, obliteration, blood, and explosions. Spend hours on chopping up any demon who stands in your way. Watch the blood spurt everywhere and leave the pile of corpses in your wake. I love this. It says, uh, mature content description. The developers describe the content like this, violence, blood, and language. And, uh, of course, there are Steam uh, system requirements down here. And uh, looks good. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait to try this out. Um, I love that it's got two different modes. That is so awesome. Again, um, a friend of mine uh, sent me information about this through Discord. And uh, I was basically saying uh, this is the uh, first-person shooter, the first first-person shooter on the VCS. It's so cool. Um, so excited about that. Let me know if you guys are interested. Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer. Here it is. Bring it on, tough guy. Rest in pieces, bitch.
I just love that, guys. I'm so excited for this game. Let me know what you think. So as I stated at the top of the show, I have two free codes for the Steam version of Superstar Shooter 16 by JD Video Game Productions. Now he was on that Atari show recently. Check it out. I'll put the code or um, the link down below. And uh, such a cool dev, so laid back and uh, just loves the VCS and uh, really cool interview. Check it out. Really, really nice guy. So I'm excited to give these codes away. I've I was given two free codes to give out uh, for Superstar Shooter 16, as I said, on the Steam uh, version of this. Uh, not the VCS version, the Steam version. So uh, for the first two people um, that want to comment on my video and uh, tell me something uh, you like about my channel, um, I'll send you a code for this. Um, you know, you don't have to go crazy, but I just, I thought it was funny just to add something else other than just comment. So let me know what you like about the channel and let me know, um, uh, that you're interested and, uh, give me an email address if you want to. And, um, I'll send you that code right away. Or you can just let me know if you're on Twitter or whatever. Um, and I'll send you that there. Um, or, um, any other means, just let me know. So this is a cool game. You guys, superstar shooter 16, one of my favorites. I love it. Uh, speaking of shooters, this is a really cool one. So definitely reminds me of the Atari Jaguar a little bit. And and uh, actually, so does Madness Beverage a little bit, strangely enough. It's got that Jaguar kind of feel to it, I'm right? I really like that. Kind of gore and uh, pixels and stuff like that. So really cool. So excited about this. And I told you, I wasn't going to talk about this until um, it was on its way here. But I wanted to let you guys know that my Atari 2600 Plus my paddle uh, controller combo, um, my extra CX-40 joystick, Mr. Run and Jump and Berserk Enhanced are on the way here, um, where, you know, and they'll be here Saturday. So I'm so excited about that. Plus, Atari sent me an email saying that my replacement cart for Yars Return um, was, is also being shipped to me. And it looks like I see that in the network as well. So coming on Saturday. So I'm going to have all of this Atari goodness to talk about. I'm so excited. So look forward next week to content about that. Um, I'll probably take a week to actually re review the 2600 Plus. And I want, what I, want, I want to make my video stand out. So I wanted to ask you guys if you could let me know down below in comments what you would like me to do in my review to make it stand out. Tell me what you want to see in my review. Now me, myself, I've been staying away from, from video reviews of the 2600 plus because I want to be excited. So, um, and I don't want to be biased and I don't want anything to influence my review, but I want to stand out because there's been so many videos about it already. I mean, mine's late, right? And I've told you how angry I am about that, but it is what it is. First world problem, right? Derek. Uh, so, um, let me know down below, uh, what you'd like to see me do in there or you to make it stand out. And, uh, and if I like one of those comments, I'm going to do another giveaway on on a Atari Newsline. Uh, I might show it on that Atari show. I'm not sure where I'm going to show it, but I'll be give, doing a giveaway for an Atari game and uh, probably a 2600 game, a cart that I might have an extra one of. So, um, and I've I've got some extras. So excited to give that away. Uh, more details coming soon about that. But drop down below um, what you uh, like about my channel. Um, and also, uh, how you want my review to stand out for the 2600 plus put that together in a comment and I'll enter you in a drawing for the giveaway. And that's going to happen here in the next week or two for Christmas. So let me know guys, I'm going to have a few different things going on on my channel, on my shows. So if you want to watch all my shows, you can enter that many times for my drawings. And, um, I kind of decided I'm going to have five different drawings for Christmas and these are all going to be Atari related products. So stay tuned for more information about that. This is the first one though. And I'm going, going to tell you more about this in the, in the near future. So, um, again, if you didn't catch that comment down below with what you like about my channel and how you want my 2600 plus video to stand out. Do you want me sitting on my head? Um, at a Denny's pouring Frosties over my face upside down? Do you want me to be up in a tree? Do you want me to be on top of the mountain here um, where it's 20 degrees right now? Do you want me to be 
Um, I don't know. Do you want me to review it for my bed? Do you want me to review it for my bathtub? I mean, let me know. Do you want me to be eating a hot dog while I review it? Uh, there's, I mean, I mean, it's endless, right? It's endless. So let me know down below what you think I should do because I've got to stand out, guys, for this video because everyone in the grandmothers put out 10 videos about it saying the ultimate review or you haven't seen a review like this or whatever it is. And uh, I want mine to be just as cool. So let me know. Even more cool if possible. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the games I talked about. Uh, really cool. I can't wait to try out uh, Madness Beverage. What a cool name is that? And uh, also for Superstar Shooter 16, um, comment down below. Let me know what you like about my channel, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send out those codes. And again, if you want to enter my giveaway, make sure to do those things. Um, plus, um, let me know how you want my 2600 plus video to stand out, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, be a good person, get your Java, happy holidays, and go play some freaking Atari. We'll see you guys later now. Bye. Oh, one last thing, guys. Please watch my gameplay for Millie and Greg today on No Filter HD. Uh, this is a great game by Second Boss. It's like a puzzler platformer. I freaking love it. It's so good. So make sure to check out my uh, gameplay and chat coming today on No Filter HD. Link down below. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye now. Video game fans were fascinated by the mystery of Atari, wondering if thousands of old games are really buried in a New Mexico landfill. New tonight, we have a sneak peek at the movie coming out about the legend, including the big dig in Alamogordo. Action 7 News reporter Alana Grimstad shows us the film. Of New Mexico's trash has become treasured, and someone's even making a movie about it. The dreams of a generation buried underneath the garbage. Back in the 80s, video game giant Atari released what was supposed to be the greatest game ever, E.T. It was bad. But it was a rushed job and a huge failure. One of the worst nights of my life. Now, here is your first look at a new film about Atari's legends. The trailer was just released at San Diego Comic-Con. And while New Mexico is used to having movies shot here, this is an angle of our state like we've never seen before. Rumor had it the games were dumped in a landfill in Alamogordo 30 years ago. Useless, worthless product. How do you get rid of it? You bury it. They want some kind of tangible evidence. And back in April, our crews were there in the midst of the wind and the trash, along with film crews, fans, and even the man who made the game. So excited to be here. To find out if the legend was true. This is a huge event in video game history, and I wanted to be here to see it. And after hours of digging, jackpot. A game cartridge was pulled from the ground, followed by 1,400 others, Squashing three decades of wondering what happened to E.T. We found intact <laughs> E.T. the video game. The movie trailer is just whetting our appetites for the full film, which is set to be released on the Xbox 360 channel later this year. Reporting in Santa Fe, I'm Alana Grimstad, KOAT Action 7 News. Those games are now owned by the city of Alamogordo, and the city commission is still working with local museums to figure out what to do with them. They are considering selling them, but have not made a final decision.
from Atari. Made especially for systems from Atari. The video game that lets you help E.T. get home. Just in time for Christmas. Happy Holidays from Atari. You are watching Ballistic Hot Hot World.